in to the Brooks Bench with your host, Brooke, a.k.a. Shiggy, and my co-host, Brooke. What's up, y'all? And Megan. What's up? All right. Glad to have you back, Brooke. Seems Thank like you. forever since you've been here. I'm not Dude, and it's going to be quite the adventure. Honestly, this next month, May, because it's tomorrow. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm probably not going to be here for the month of May. There is so much going on. I'm moving new, to a new apartment, everybody, and that, and softball, and work, and just life. I bet, yeah. I was going to so. say, because usually we're going to record on Sundays anyways, and Sundays are always a bad day for you. So, Burke will be in and out. There's no good day. Yeah. There's no good day. Yeah. So, let's start it off. Hit that subscribe button on the road to a thousand subscribers. Almost there. Uh, Like, comment, share. Um, what are we at? I actually have no idea. If anyone wanted to check. I have no idea. I'll, I'll fact check it. Don't worry, Thank Megan. You. I got you. Thank you. All Thank right. You. <laughs> Follow us on all social media. Instagram. Eh, Instagram, X, TikTok. Um, and also, I just want to go over reminders for, because we, yeah, how many do we have? 759. See? Oh my god, you guys like us. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe See? it's shady, honestly. I don't think anybody really likes me and Megan. I no. think it's just you, but that's exciting. <laughs> I think it's our yeah. dynamic. I think us three, we just all offer a little bit of something and it just works well together. I just, that's what I think it is. Yeah, I they don't hate know how on us. It works. They love you. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay, honestly, but- yeah. <laughs> but since we have 759 subscribers, let's go over a little reminder. We still go over the news every week. So for college or WNBA. So even though we're like fantasy right now or like WNBA, we still go over other things. Just because our title says one thing, we'll talk about random things. That's just just how we are. Um, yeah. Going into WNBA, we're going to be doing a little different um, if you are old an old subscriber. We did a lot of fantasy focus. I feel like we're going to be doing more recaps how like we did with college. Um, it'll be easier to talk about fantasy that way if we're able to recap for the week. Um, and then just fantasy tips along the way. Um, but other than that, thank you guys for joining us today. We're going to be doing a fantasy preview because drafts are next week, May 4th. So here's our this schedule. This is crazy, you guys. We are a year into this. I know. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? It flew by. Did it not fly by? I feel like we just started. I don't know. It feels crazy. <laughs> That's why a whole year. Wow. 52 yeah. weeks, 366 yeah. days. Holy moly. Yeah, it's crazy. And this is how we first started with fantasy. fantasy what is yeah. it? 366? 350? What is it? 65, right? <laughs> yeah, but it's leap year. It's leap year. Oh, then, yeah, sure. We I don't know. An extra day. Whatever it is. Yeah, whatever, whatever it is. is. Okay, but let's go over the fantasy draft schedule if you didn't see my post. So Megan's group is going to be drafting Saturday at 12 p.m. I don't know why I said when. 12 p.m. Brooke's group's drafting at 1 p.m. Remember that, Brooke. You're 1 p.m. And listen, can I just comment on the people who are deciding to join my channel? Um, You guys are funny because she (laughs) texted me and was like, Brooke, your group didn't pick a time at all. And you know what? I love that energy because that's us. So yeah. Keep that energy. Shout it's out, y'all. Yes. We'll be at 1 p.m. No, literally, I was looking at the polls and I said, this is Brooke's group. This is perfectly her <laughs> group right here. It was hilarious. <laughs> I was laughing so hard at work when you told me that. <laughs> and then Anyways. my group will be drafting at 2 p.m. Now, I keep getting messages that all of our groups are full. And I just want to say, Megan has they decided. Want smoke. To manage another league for you guys. So, link is in the <laughs> description. Megan said, I will do it. So, Megan, yeah. And Megan goes Also, hard. if this if is I, your first time playing leagues. fantasy, it's a lot. It is. It's a lot. But Megan like, is dedicated. Have, yeah, Megan is. And you need to have, like, a weekly um, alarm that goes off. Yeah. Um, to Daily. set your schedule. Because if I've learned anything in my one year playing fantasy... Yeah. It's um to actually switch things around it's something. and not forget. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It still hurts. But because Megan has uh decided to carry an additional league, she will have to be drafting after me. So that'll be three PM. So this new this new group, listen, you're drafting May 4th, 3 PM. Okay. If you don't show up to your draft, well, I'm well, sorry. I win. Megan's gonna brag. Okay. <laughs> um, how many people are in these groups? It's eight per eight. Group. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it'll be another eight-person league. So the link will be in the description. 
if you're already in a if you're already in a group please don't join again let the people that haven't joined join please um just so everyone can have an opportunity to play but with that said let's get into the news before we hit the fancy preview because it's a lot there's a lot that's happened this transfer portal is crazy it's insane um one of my favorite players from colorado Aronette von lay has decided to commit to baylor shocking uh-huh. honestly um Charlize is she Shaquille. the one with the short hair who is this no one? no 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 she's their center the one with the short hair is Quay Miller. She went to the draft. Uh, but I don't, she yeah. went undrafted, I think. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. That's um, what I was thinking. Yeah. So Ledger Walker committed to UCLA. That's a good That's a good signing. Um, and then Haley Van Lith officially committed to TCU. Because I don't know if you guys saw the drama. That yeah. she said, I didn't commit yet. I mean, and then that she was, was, what was that for? I don't know, bro. To build up more suspense or something? I don't know. I was like, oh, shoot. Yeah, no. I don't know. Whatever, but it's official. Uh, Reagan Beers is expected to decide between Oklahoma and Yukon. Interesting. The Oklahoma's random, no? Does anyone know where she's from? Is she from Oklahoma? Probably not. That doesn't, that doesn't sound right. Um, I, Oklahoma did good last year, though. Yeah, they did. This, this season. But I think... no. Who said they didn't like her at Yukon? Me. I don't like her at Yukon. Oh. oh, never mind. I'd like her at Yukon more than Oklahoma. Yeah, I would, too. I like it. I don't know. Um, I like her at Oregon State. I, f- I just feel like her game's yeah, a little too. slower. Yeah. Well, they need a big. But the, it'll be fine. Um, this one was interesting. Kiki Uriofen is going on visits to USC and South Carolina. Excuse me, man. You can come on down to South Carolina. I don't okay, think it's going to happen. Did you see the TikTok I sent you? That hurt was my heart them? seeing her in a USC jersey. Yeah. I know, but I think she's still... I still think she's going to go to USC. I think there's a part of her that wanted to explore the South Carolina. But I, I don't know. What's the other girl from Oregon? They were there together. Oregon State. They were at USC. Von Olhoffen. Yeah. I still think mm. she's going to Kentucky. I don't know why. I could see her going to Kentucky. Yeah. But when I saw her but with them together Kiki, there, yeah, that was good. pretty good. I know that was pretty yeah. tough. I don't the know. The USC team is going to be hella good next year. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Be, oh and then God. they extended their coach to 2030. They're going to be hella I know. Good. Yes. <laughs> So why keep... so that's a long contract. I know. It's a long contract. <laughs> like, Isn't that after junior graduates? Yeah. That's like two that's... years from now. Two wow. years from now. <laughs> Hopping to skip, she'll already be fired. Notice. Like right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, LSU landed three transfers. Kaylin Gilbert from Arizona, Cheyenne Day Wilson from Miami, and Miracle Shepherd from Mississippi State. All right, LSU. And then Brooke already said it. USC head coach extended through 2030. Congratulations. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, some WNBA news. Uh, rookie scale contracts that were signed. Uh, Alyssa Peely, Kiki Jefferson, Mimi Collins, Kanisha Lockett, Cameron Taylor, all signed with Minnesota. Um, it was weird they didn't... Kaylin Clarks didn't sign her rookie contract scale i didn't see that on the wmba transactions someone Mm. someone someone fact check me on that um but indiana fever signed celeste taylor and leilana korea las vegas signed kate martin daisha fair angel jackson oh they didn't sign um what's her name well she's kitley oh so she might not be passing the medical exams yet because she's yeah yeah you're right uh, Seattle Storm signed Nico Mule. Phoenix Mercury signed Ariel um, Heron. Ellie Sparks signed Cameron Brink, Rakia Jackson, Mackenzie Forbes. Sky signed uh, Camila Cardoso, Angel Reese, uh, Bri- Brina, Brina Maxwell. Dallas Wing signed J.C. Sheldon and Ashley Owusu. Uh, Mystic signed Aaliyah Edwards, Jakia Brown Turner, Kaylin Trong, Honesty Sat Grayson. New York Livery signed Marquisha Davis, Esmeri Martinez, Jessica Carter, and Jalen Sherrod. And then Connecticut Sun signed Tiana Jackson, Helen, Helena Poyo, and Jazz Shelley. Um, did you see it, Meg? Because I didn't I didn't see Kaylin Clark sign her rookie scale contract. Yeah, I don't see it either. I don't know if it's different for the number one pick. I don't know. Um, um, I want <clears throat> Just mm-hmm. shout out Minnesota on how they handled like Alyssa Peely coming oh to the God. team. Like, if you guys haven't seen that, you guys should go check it out and like the ceremony that yeah. they had for her to like uh-huh. honor her heritage and where she, she comes from. Like, that was really, really, yeah. really cool. I and agree. then they brought in one of the um, their politicians who I think is also like one of the first Native Americans or something oh, like okay. that. In oh, wow. You can yeah. fact check me on that one, but it's something like really cool like that mm-hmm. and to like have a like, i don't know it was just so cool and oh, i feel like awesome. that they're really living up of like 
These mm-hmm. teams are living into the hype right now of the media showing a lot of things. And it's mm-hmm. like, that's a good move. And that yeah. was really cool and genuine. Yeah, yeah, that makes me like her landing spot even more now. Same. Shout yeah. out to you. Minnesota That's fans. That's how you Somebody bring the fans over. Look at Minnesota go. Um, okay, this was interesting. Abby Sue will not be attending Connecticut training camp, but the Sun retain her rights for future years. Interesting. What would they do? I don't know. They see interest in her. I mean, apparently. No, I know, but like, what does that mean? Like, if she decides to play, they still have her rights? Like yeah, if she so like she she can't money move, so that way if like a uh-huh. team wants her to play they can be like yeah, okay, okay buy her yeah. rights and mm, give us money okay yeah. so she's deciding probably not to play this year then yeah is that what that means okay probably yeah she'll probably go overseas or just develop mm, okay I get what you're saying okay and then Washington Mystics have exercised their uh, fourth year term uh, team option on Shakira Austin great move and then Indiana Fever exercised their fourth year uh, option on Melissa Smith. Those were two obvious ones. Epiphany Prince, she has retired, but New York hired her as the director of player and community engagement. Love Boss that. move, retirement, then a job. That's, That's it. how you do it. All right, this is a heartbreaker, everyone. Sasu Sabli will not be ready for the season for Dallas, expected to return around the Olympic break. I didn't, that was my first time hearing that, and I'm really sad about that. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, because my expectations for Dallas were high, but now it's going to be a slow start. <sighs> I'm sad. Honorary <laughs> Dallas fan, I'm here. Okay, Atlanta Dream and the Dallas Wings have sold out their season ticket memberships for 2024. That's Woo! awesome. Ooh, honestly, that's so cool. That's awesome. Indiana's that's next. The hey, Bryce um, hasn't. I know. I'm surprised New York hasn't either. Yeah. That is because they had like a whole wait list thing, didn't they? Go but ahead? it's also like how many are we counting as a sellout? Yeah, because um, someone was telling me that Indiana has like 20,000 or so something seats or well, something. Well, because they share the same stadium as the Pacers, right? Yeah, so they're like yeah. it's so be a they little bit harder. they have a bigger option. Like Dallas, mm-hmm. they just, well, I mean, we're going to go talk into it right now, but yeah. they just got that approved to move over to a different arena that's bigger so Mm -hmm. their season ticket base isn't as big so like Mm -hmm. i'm excited about this but what's the threshold because now that dallas is moving are they going to open it back up and then Mm -hmm. resell it out you know Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um i don't know but i'm curious i'm i am surprised new york didn't sell out though yeah because i thought they we're on like the verge of doing that um but like you said this is a long sentence so city of dallas council members members have approved a 15-year agreement first of all that's huge for the dallas wings to play in a renovated k bailey hutchinson convention center dallas memorial arena excuse me why is that so long why is that the name that's just too long beginning in 2026 that's awesome did they share yeah. they share it with the uh mavs megan no right now no they play in no, a different do they oh. no they play in a way smaller a lot of the a lot of oh. the WNBA. WNBA teams don't share. Mm. It, they're so, so much they're all the Dallas one piece. is smaller than the Chicago one, I think. Is and really? the Chicago one is really small. Really? It only huh. held uh Megan can look it up, but like t- under ten thousand for Chicago and mm. Dallas is smaller than that. Mm. And they weren't even in Dallas. They were in Arlington technically, right? And so that yeah, was I think so. push was to move back to Dallas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And into a bigger arena. Well, I'm glad they're moving. That's awesome. Same. Never been there, but looks it looks like a nice stadium. College okay. Park Center is yep. where Dallas College plays. Park Center. Yeah. Okay. All right. Caitlin Clark will be the first female athlete to have her team apparel sold in all 724 Dick Sporting Goods stores in America. And it's true because we went to Dick Sporting Goods today and her t-shirt is right there on their small yep. display stand. Front and center. For WNBA. Just and there's probably right there. selling like crazy. You should have bought one. I know you're absolutely not. Um, first of all, it was not selling in stocks and count. I don't know why I said that. It's not it's because not. it's Stockton. Everybody's yeah. loyal to the Stockton born and raised, like Chelsea Gray. Yeah, if they put a Chelsea Gray thing there, they probably would be like, Gone. yeah, yeah, sell out. Um, Sue Bird has joined the Seattle Storm ownership group. That's cool. And then I this one it. was cool. I don't I know how to one. say his last name. Do you know how to say his last name? Alex, Alex. O'Hannon. Okay. Which is, I think, which for people out there who don't know who he is, Serena Williams' husband. 
Announce he will, be, <laughs> he will help the sports bra bar in Portland expand with new locations across the U.S. Awesome. Did you guys ever go to this when you were No, there? because you know what? Megan, story time. We yeah, please whole, do, because I'm yeah. upset. Uh, I told I you this from the beginning to go there. I no. said you landed. I said, yeah. go to this bar. Because this is what we did. We looked, we looked it up. We're like, okay, we're going to go here. We planned out our whole weekend <sighs> because, you know, we had a plan around the games, right? Tell me why we Ubered to this place. We actually Ubered all the way there. Why was it closed? Megan. Megan had one job. I said, Megan, make sure it's open. Make sure that this stays good. So when we finalize our plans, you know, it works with our flow. We drove all the way there. Open the well, door. The door wouldn't open. Megan then looks up on Google. <laughs> oh, it's closed. <laughs> was it? Is it far? No. It wasn't that far. Yeah, like 10 minutes. Yeah. Big. Wow, that is sad to hear because <laughs> this is a really exciting news that he's investing to like expand because I see them popping up everywhere. We have Portland. There's one, I think, in the East Coast somewhere. There's one somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, we live in the freaking Bay Area. And there's it's not coming. Here. It's coming. Why? It's going to be there. Don't worry. It'll be there. It's going to be in the Bay for sure. It's going to be somewhere sure like San Francisco there. or something uh, totally out of the way. From yeah, us. Uh, that would be a be bummer. Like, that would yeah. be a bummer. I hope they do there in like Sacramento. Sacramento is a really like downtown Sacramento is really cool. Like really downtown cool and midtown Sac's kind of fun. Yeah, yeah. it's a cool. It's vibe. not like fun to live there and like stay for a long uh, yeah, time, but you're there for a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, like the, the vibes. Scooters? Like, no, <laughs> I don't want to do that. Um, but yeah, it's a good development. Yeah, we didn't get to go bummer because that was the one thing I was really excited about. Thank you, Megan. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, shout out welcome. Megan. So yeah, glad thanks, that you were able to plan and knowing her because she's a planner. So that's crazy. Yeah. Okay, let's get into the fantasy preview. I'm going to see. Beautiful. Let's get into it. Okay, there's been a lot of movement. And I think it's going to affect fantasy everywhere. A lot of sleepers in late rounds. And we're going to relive some pain here because people oh. we've drafted, especially Brooke and Diana Taurasi, um, we're gonna relive some pain here. Um, but this is ESPN players to avoid. Diana Taurasi. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we will be going over that. Okay, but basically, this is ESPN's top 100 fantasy players. Okay, um, so we're gonna be talking about for like an eight person draft. Okay, so obviously, it's pretty accurate top ten. I would, I would say I would draft some people ahead of others. Like for example. Brianna Stewart, I think, is obviously the number one pick just because she can she hits a lot of threes. Threes are worth extra points. You guys want to think about the point, the points. Threes are worth an additional point. And what is it? Steals and blocks are worth two points. Everything else is worth yeah. one point. So you want players that can get those get the most points for you to max it out. So obviously Brianna Stewart, Asia Wilson, boom, boom. That's easy. One, two. Now, Le hear me out. Megan, you were an Alyssa Thomas manager last year and a Jewel Lloyd manager last year. Do you agree with the 3-4? Three, three, like, this should be Alyssa Thomas, Jewel Lloyd. Yes. With – okay. Okay, hear me out. Because Seattle got Skylar Diggins, you don't think that's going to mess up Jewel Lloyd? A little bit, yes. But I still think Ju Jewel Lloyd, she's a bucket. She's going to get hers, you know? I just want to throw in there because if you this is going to be Skylar's first season back. I don't care. Break, She's like, Skylar Diggins Smith. Yeah, that's true. But um, I mean, there's going to be an adjustment period and Jewel Lloyd is not going to be a bad pick. Okay. I want to throw this out there for both of you then because um, huge Nafisa Collier fan over here. I think she disrespected here at six. I would probably argue her over Jewel Lloyd. Um, did I have her last year or you had her? I had her last year. She's a okay, fantastic yeah. person to have. Let me I was tell you. Say, I well, can't remember if I had her, but I know I really wanted her, especially yeah. like midway through the season. Because yeah. she was not last year was oh a my great God. season for her and she was dominating. So yes. one can only hope she does the same thing this year. But that was like her first big year dominating. So it's a little nerve wracking if she's gonna do the same thing. But if she does, she's a must have. Well, right. I mean, mm -hmm. I'll just let you guys in on my strategy, but oh, we got to go with forwards, period. Yeah. yeah. Duh. Yeah. Like, if, if it's between a guard and a forward, go forward. Pick the forward. I agree. Unless yeah, it's a really good guard. Really. But, you so to. you would agree then that 
You would choose Nafisa Collier over Jewel Lloyd. Yeah, if, I, if it was between those two, I would have to go forward. I would agree. Nafisa Collier, you may, like you said, Brooke, had a great year last year. One year, I think that was a year right after she came back from yeah being pregnancy. pregnant. So another year removed. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, I'm telling you guys, next week we're going to be doing our preseason awards. And I'm going to tell you right now, Nafisa Collier is going to be the MVP. Oh. I'm just saying. So MVP? I don't know why you guys hate her so much. She is good. I, this is, okay, okay, I'm not saying she's bad. I love her, but she's not MVP. She's <laughs> underrated. You guys she's are sleeping. underrated, but she's not sleeping no on. Yeah, no, <laughs> not listen. Absolutely. Okay, not. listen. Also, another thing to add in uh, while we're talking about fantasy and going into a new year, Shiggy is the ultimate jinx. So whatever she says, <laughs> do the exact. Yeah, do the exact. Ax- no, for real, do the exact. No, opposite. I'm being dead. Dead. dead dead serious she, that's a disclaimer like yes, disclaimer yeah. i jinx everything i the, everything. the player will be on a roll for like 10 games and i'll give them some props <laughs> ah, automatically the next three four games stay away from them pick them up on the fifth game because they're gonna go on a downstroke okay uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> back here back okay focus okay so nafisa collier i say over oh, Lloyd. then we can pick it up arike i had arike last season arike gets hers if you guys don't know her She'll get hers without Satu for the first half of the season. Arike is going mm-hmm. to shoot about 40 times a game. You want that. She mm-hmm. hits a lot of threes. It's a lot of extra points. So I agree. Jeweled in Arike. I kind of want to go Arike over Jewel. The Skylar Diggins and NECA really throw me off with Jewel. And I'm not going to lie to you, Megan, because Jewel Lloyd had no one. Her for sure. No one last year. I mean, they're going to have NECA. They're going to have Ezzy. Yeah, it's, it's there's, gonna there's be too a many hands team. in the pot. Wow, Seattle's gonna be good. Yeah, Seattle's gonna be crazy. That's they crazy. said let's rebuild one year and, and then dominate people on the edge tail end of their prime and run it. Yeah, no, yeah, it's gonna be insane. That's gonna be a team to watch. Go watch them play this yeah, year. Yeah, it's gonna guys. be crazy. Um, okay, so Sabrina, okay, okay. Right here, Sabrina, <laughs> Natasha, Chelsea Gray, Ryan Howard. This group confuses me a little bit. Um, I'm not right, as high. Yeah. yeah, I'm not that high on uh Sabrina as many are. Fantasy for fantasy, right? Okay, she was a lot. She Dude, was Sabrina down. ran it last year for me. Oh, did did you have Sabrina? I had Sabrina and Chelsea. That was the only reason I was in it because I had Sabrina Chelsea set too. Why did I think you had someone else? Never mind. No, because I also had Diana Taurasi and I complained about that. <laughs> That's why. But okay, right here. I really like Ryan Howard. Okay, out of these four, say I say I uh, but you did say forward over guard. Okay, let's just go for the guards. Sabrina, Chelsea Gray, Ryan Howard, rank those three and who you would pick. Because I feel like I like Ryan Howard. For me, it'd be Ryan, Sabrina, Chelsea Gray. Go ahead, Megan. So I can't really go with Ryan, Ryan, because I always go for Alicia Gray. Oh my! I say I always Alicia like they've been playing for years, but yeah, Alicia Gray's all the way. I would, at I would choose Alicia. I would choose her over Ryan Howard, so I wouldn't go Ryan Howard. I would probably go Chelsea Gray over Sabrina and Ryan. Yeah, Howard. interesting. Oh well, I mean, uh, you talk, yeah, Ryan Howard, yeah, Chelsea. I can't do I that. Choose, I would do Chelsea. I think Chelsea's a little high for me. Okay, so I, I think it is high, but I would go Chelsea out of those three. But I think that's it's really just a preference. It is I'm, a preference. Okay, if we're talking fantasy, Chelsea's at the top for me. It's Chelsea, mm. Sabrina, Ryan because mm. Chelsea was the best, most consistent person for me last year, and I think mm. it was because she had a huge chip on her shoulder. From mm-hmm. not getting into the All Star game two years ago, yeah. mm-hmm. but Chelsea easily into the finals. I mean, we weren't playing fantasy once the finals happened, but she's the most consistent yeah. for me because she gets assists, she mm-hmm. got some blocks, she's shooting threes, she's the mm-hmm. playmaker of that team, and so yeah. mm-hmm. that's the. And then Sabrina took like a weird downturn halfway yeah. through. That, that's well, I didn't difference. like that. You can count that Chelsea Gray. She's gonna elevate as the season yeah. goes on. Yeah, but every was, year. Yeah, elevates. Honestly, I had Ryan Howard last year. She was pretty consistent. She didn't yeah. really. She She's wasn't not a bad really player, up guys. and down. Yeah, yeah. She's top ten for a reason. 
honestly okay the first 20 picks you can't really go wrong okay right. you're gonna no, you're gonna you get a solid player the only thing that they have right here caitlin clark at 14 i don't know i don't know fantasy wise i don't know i think that's high i would rather have ezzy right here i'd go for a big she's ranked with ezzy Aaliyah, boston neca I don't know. I would rather have a big here than go Caitlin Clark and not just because you don't know her role and you know what she's going to do. I don't yeah. know that. And she's not a big, like if she was a big, I think it'd be different for me. Um, I don't know. Do you think Caitlin Clark's ranked a little high for fantasy here? Like yeah. over Especially Jackie Young? Knowing how she's going to adjust. I don't know. If I yeah. Know. Honestly, they disrespected Jackie Young. They disrespected yeah. Joanna Bonner. They, Court Vandersloot's probably about okay. right. Okay, I'll go lower actually. <laughs> I think Kalia Copper's even a little bit too high, but I, this is you have to take it with a grain of salt, you guys. Like I yeah. think right now yeah. they're going off of what somebody's fantasy points were last year, but yeah. how they're doing in real life. And honestly, you have to keep those two separate. Like yeah. somebody can have a terrible scoring game and make a lot of blocks, Heck, and they yeah. have the most points for you yep. that game. And exactly. ESPN's not going to talk about that. Like, you have to focus on the mm-hmm. points. And that mm-hmm. was a, a huge mistake last year I made. Yeah. You have to – it's – who's going to get the most opportunities? I think that is a key strategy going into fantasy. Who's going to have the most opportunities to score those points that you need? Like Brooke said, not necessarily have the best stat line, but, like, they're going to get yeah. you a lot of fantasy points. Mm-hmm. Um, So, like, just going through this, like – I think Alicia Gray is disrespected. I wouldn't have Courtney Vandersloot or Alicia Gray. That's kind of no. crazy. That's insane. no shot. <laughs> That's insane. Maybe ESPN. Courtney Vandersloot seven years ago. Oh my yeah. god. That's insane. And like when you get down here to the nitty gritty, I think it comes mm-hmm. down to preference. Um, it's it kind of gets nasty when we get into later rounds. Like look, for, look, look, D2 there's so many people that that sounds about right. Would you say? Diana Taurasi, 36. Let me tell you, Diana Taurasi, one of the goats, but let me tell you, fantasy, not it. <laughs> yeah, she got hurt a lot. That's it. And that's what you want to avoid, players that get hurt a lot. I was going to say, you gonna have mess, to pick yeah. players who will stay healthy. Yeah, exactly. And for example, right here, um, someone that, like, Tierra McCallan, why did they rank Tierra McCallan all the way down here to dis- disrespect my girl, 39? She's consistently... I'm telling you, she's the mo- probably one of the most consistent players I had last year. Um, okay, All, I see a lot of rookies ranked up here, and last year it wasn't like that. A lot of the rookies mm-hmm. were, like, last-round picks. So out of all the rookies, who do you guys think, like, who are you, like, for like really wanting on your team that you think could really impact your team? Last year I called Diamond Miller. Diamond mm. Miller worked out really well. No, uh, Diamond Miller got hurt. Yeah, but after that she was solid. True. She was really good. But it was that. like almost done with the season. Yeah, but she was she was like for a late round snatch. She was pretty solid. I um, honestly, if we're talking fantasy, like Cameron Brink's gonna be one to grab because yeah, that girl just I, blocking yeah, everybody. Yeah. And I think it'll take her a second to adjust to a little bit more aggression mm-hmm. um in the WNBA, but that girl is lengthy. She is yeah. Or with a, a six five wingspan, like yeah, she she's a good one to grab because she will get you those blocks, mm-hmm. and she's gonna work on her jumper and she'll get you the points. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah, I think anyone, I think anyone in L A or Chicago, yeah, they're gonna get you points too. because they're rebuilding, and so they're gonna get playing time. They're gonna yeah. get a lot of experience this year. So I think it's safe to have like anyone from those teams on your bench to be filler players. I agree. Sure. Uh, two yep. players I think I'm targeting are going to be Rakia Jackson and um, yep. Cardoso. I just think yeah. those positions, they're, I just, I don't know. They're, if they're, if someone's going to leave them out there, I'm for sure going to snag one of those two. Yeah. Especially in the later rounds when it just gets, it gets too picky. Like, um, for example, based on these rankings, this is insane. Like, a sleeper for me this year that I think everyone forgot about is Shakira Austin. No Deladon. She does better without Deladon there because Deladon all she, Deladon does shoot the dang ball, doesn't pass no one, right, <laughs> Megan? Um, but I think Shakira Austin in the late round is going to be a great value. Um, if you can Data get Evans in a late round was a good pickup at the beginning of the year. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Careful with her towards the middle to end, but Data Evans out of Chicago really helped me a couple weeks. 
Chicago's going to be the hardest team to select from just because they, like yeah. you said, there's going to be a rebuild. So I would say snag a Chicago player that you think is going to be a, a starter. I think, um, uh, who is that? Elizabeth Williams. She's still there, right? Yeah. I would, I would, I would pick her up. She did a lot for them last year. I think they're going to lean on her again. Yeah. But Isabel Harrison's back. It's going to be, I think it's going to be crazy. The rotation. I don't. Yeah, that's true. But Dana Evans is a good pick because I think this year she's going to be a, a starter. No Kalia Copper. It's just yeah, Marina mm-hmm. Mabry there. So Dana Evans, I think, is a great late round snag as well. I think her if, ceiling's high this year. Honestly, mm-hmm. if Mabry, what's her name? May, May- Mabry. 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 I love her. I do. I don't know what it is about <laughs> her. I think it's just like that attitude that I enjoy. But if she could just control it a little bit more, she's a little like. Yeah, flaily. She yeah. would get more points <laughs> yeah. in fantasy. Um, but I don't know. Maybe we might see a better version of her this year because mm-hmm. of just kind of the the trades and stuff that have happened. I think the it's gonna calm down a little bit for Chicago. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, Chicago's one to look out for for sure. Um, mm-hmm. but as we get into late rounds, I say when you get to your like your bench players, like your second or third bench player. I think mm-hmm. it comes to chance. Like, who do you want to, like, especially yeah. your last pick, who do you want to bet on? Just bet on someone that, like, you think can really pop off. For me, honestly, because of the Satu injury, I think I would I would hold her. If she's there on my last pick, I would hold Satu Sabli. Just Put her because, on the IL. Th- yep. Pick her up, injury reserve her, and then go back after the draft and pick up a, another player that you think is going to pop off. But I really think, like, a late round, good pickup. <sighs> here's this the, is hard. Here's the thing, too. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's been so many times, like, um, Kayla Thornton did good for a couple weeks. Uh-huh. Or I picked up Carly Samuelson at one point. Oh or God, Ari McDonald. And they, like, yeah. those are the things. But if you do pick up these players in the later rounds, you need to look forward at who the matchups are. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not <laughs> pick like uh Kayla Thornton if they're playing Las Vegas Aces like Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pick I'm gonna avoid that matchup because the likelihood of her running you up to 12 plus points Mm -hmm. is very low so you have to pick those like a little bit more even matchups or where Mm -hmm. they're gonna have that playing time Mm because that's something that will screw you in the end Mm -hmm. and um that's what we go over every week who's gonna have the better matchup who we should pick up off the waiver wire for that week so Uh that's basically what we do every basically every week but uh uh uh, i'm trying to think okay with your last pick in the draft who are you guys like targeting like who's like a player that you're like i think they'll have a good season i need them on my my roster because i'm looking at this Mm-hmm. and depending I want to know who gets cut from LA and who their final guards are uh-huh. because I kind of like Ari McDonald I think she could do good in LA and I think that could be a good last uh, pick of the draft but I need to see who they finalize their roster spots to Um, so I like Ari mm. McDonald Alicia Clark's always solid for Vegas she's yeah. a safe pick if you don't know and you're like, you just need to pick someone to finish out your round. Alicia Clark's always safe. She's a hustle player. Yeah, she's always going to be a safe. She'll, like, get you 10 points plus. And any points, our motto, any points, is better than zero points, okay? Because it, it comes down to that. Um, Because other than that, look, I'm scrolling down. I'm looking at the Nia Coffee one. You I mean, always say Nia Coffee. I do say that. Oh, well, it's true, man. She's a scrappy <laughs> player, and you can yeah. always you can always count that they'll put her in, and yeah. it, let there be any injuries. I mean, she's in there. She You're did. Right. Good. She was a solid. Little, You're right. Like, I'll give you that. Okay. Squeeze in player there. So, Wait, yeah, I right. think Hold Jordan Horston used to be. She's not going to be this I know, year. That I was think, such a I bummer. Think she's gonna fall off. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to see who else is on this. Uh, Clarendon probably gonna do good because she's gonna have the experience with rebuilding yeah that's true that's true Uh, okay so my late pick would be ari mcdonald or alicia clark megan's would be nia coffee is that correct brooke yeah i don't know alicia clark 
a good one. I mean, I think they disrespected Sat two at sixty nine, but just because she's hurt. But if if she drops that low, pick her up. Yeah, and I <laughs> yeah. are her. I are her, and then I go get another person. Put up someone else. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh. Duh. Why are we dis- disrespecting Dijonay? I think Dijonay Carrington. Dijonay is it? Yeah. I would probably be my pickup out of this list. Yes, she has a path to success. No Rebecca yeah. Allen and no uh Hydeman this year yeah i like DJ that's a, a good pick she, actually she was a good one where if you had a good matchup she was getting you points yeah she was she was sporadic but this year she, they got rid of a lot of people so that's gonna be a good pickup okay last question who do you not who are you avoiding even if they're there even though they're best available who are you're like no diana tarasi okay that was more <laughs> of a brick question megan do you have Easy. any people you, you were like nah can't do it uh i could never do john quill oh you took mine that was mine yeah. we're yeah he's just frustrating to watch he's hard to watch i can't even yeah I yeah i agree yeah john quill would be mine too I, I even though i'd probably debate it if she was there and i really need the big i'd be like you i would be so mad I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> i think i'll be hesitant on caitlin clark as well oh yeah i would too i wouldn't Ooh, i wouldn't pick her I this high one too yeah kia stokes Oh yeah. Well, yeah, she wouldn't probably even be there. She'll probably be on the way to wire somewhere. This freaking girl. Somebody might want her. You never know. (laughs) Heck no. Be careful with Kia Stokes. Let me tell you, that girl. She looked like she does the most during the games too, and she gets you three points. (laughs) Yeah, she ain't gonna do nothing for you. And Candace Parker's back. (laughs) (laughs) It's the. It's the. She looks like she's doing the most. And let she me tell does. you, when we talk about this stuff, we're not talking about their ability. We're talking about fantasy. This is fantasy oh, yeah. production. This is not yeah. their ability to play basketball. We just get There's mad. There's some things get you points. do that you just don't get points for. Yeah, yeah. We don't well, care about those things at the moment. <laughs> yeah, chill. Like we're not talking about their ability at all. No, it's no, just no. fantasy. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Because we're gonna get some people in the comments like at me about talking all this mess about diana tarasi and she's the yeah. greatest one of the greatest basketball players no. of all time i'm not saying that yeah yeah put her on your fantasy team and then we'll have a conversation yeah. <laughs> you're not gonna love it okay um okay but i did want to end it with a, a quick mock draft um, remember brooke last year we did a mock draft they're 30 second rounds so you got to be ready oh you my be- god yeah okay listen that's a good <laughs> disclaimer because when we did this it it auto picked me i think like the first two rounds because i couldn't figure it out in 30 seconds okay so we're gonna be drafting brooke is gonna be the number one pick i'm gonna be the number four pick and megan's gonna be the number seven pick so you guys can get all the what's it called all the spots kind of covered <clears throat> Brooke has already said that she's going to be drafting AJ over Brianna Stewart, even though we just advised everyone to draft Brianna Stewart over. <laughs> no, you advised everybody. I didn't say nothing about that. <laughs> we. Where's my girl? Oh, there she is. We'll see how good it goes. Don't you get like 10 seconds? Oh, you do get 30. Oh! All right. Well, I'm on the clock. So that's who we're drafting. First, I go Asia. That's crazy. I wouldn't advise. Caitlin Clark. Oh, gosh. Oh, now we're... We okay. got one of those. We got one of those random drafters. And you might have one of those random drafters in your draft. So, if you can't see, it is in the bottom right-hand corner of who's been picked. You guys should be able to see my screen, so... Damn, that leaves Brianna Stewart left still. Yeah, the third pick. <laughs> the fact people are taking also, we're in a group of random people, everyone. Like, there's no auto picks. It's not uh-huh. computer, it's just random people. It auto picks if you don't go in 10 seconds. Yeah. Whoop! Who would they pick? Alyssa <laughs> Thomas. Thank you guys for Brianna Stewart. That's really unrealistic if everyone cares, but that's really unrealistic. I love my star, everyone. Brianna Stewart. Okay, Alyssa Thomas is gone. That's crazy. Now it's going, sometimes it goes fast, so you have to pay attention while this is happening. Heck yeah, because Brooke missed about 12 picks last year. Not a- I did. I hella did. Damn it. They took Sabrina. All right, Megan. Can you go Over with- Jewel Lloyd. Oh, my God. oh, yeah, that's a good one. Megan, is that who you picked? Yeah. Good pick. Good pick. Nafisa. Megan, actually, if you're a late round pick, if you're like a six, seven, eight, you're going to get a good big and a good guard. Yeah, honestly, hopefully. being the first round pick, like, or the first person to pick, kind of sucks because it's snaked. So, yeah, you don't get your next two until a while. Yeah, 
Oh, Skylar over Jewel. Why does no one like Skyler Jewel Lloyd? And Natisha, Natisha Howard? I, I'll take her. The fact Megan got Nafisa and Jewel Lloyd is insane. Wild. That's never going to happen again. Okay, so I have Brianna <laughs> <Thanks>. Stewart. <laughs> Who do I want to pair? I have to. Okay. You can pair I'm, anyone I'm with a, her. I know. It's like tempting that NECA's still there, though. Okay. Yeah, it is. Oh, I do want to go NECA. You know what? This is, this is, okay. I'm going to tell you guys this because I get the, no, I have the middle round. Forget it. I'm going NECA. Sorry, Ryan. I can't just leave NECA there. That's crazy. Kalia and Ryan. Oh, for sure going to my girl, Ezzy. 100%. Ezzy got me so far last year. Yeah, Ezzy's pretty good. Um, All right. So I need a guard. I got two bigs. Let's go a guard. Your girl's right there. I know. Honestly, Jackie Young did me well last year. Wow! You literally wow. just said Switching Chelsea up. Gray. I know, but I I know. I oh got my god! A little bit. Bro, look at this. Okay, I have two bigs, and you guys are gonna leave me a Leah Boston. I have no guards. We're gonna just hunt the guard position <laughs> because my bigs are gonna be great. Dude, you did like her last year. You had her yes. last year too. That's that's. Oh my god. That's going to be a great pick. Let's see who went after Dewana. Yeah. Oh, okay. I honestly wouldn't. Ugh, I don't know. I feel like Brittany Griner is going to be a tough pick to. I don't know. She got hurt a lot last year. Yeah. I need a guard, Ooh. though. I'm starting to panic. I know. Alicia I... Gray. Oh, shoot. I thought she, no one was going to want her. Bro. Wow. It's me. Oh, I didn't even see it was you. Okay, you and Alicia Gray. Cameron Brink. I need a freaking guard. This is going to be rough. Diana. Great pick. Um, <laughs> My guards are going to be so nasty. My guards. <laughs> no, this is not going to be cute. This turned into, like, not a cute draft. If you, Who do you guys have so far on your team? I have Jackie, Young, Asia Wilson, and Ezzy. The Megan, one person do I don't want is John Cole Jones. Dude, but I was about to grab her. I have too. to take her. Who do you that's have on your so team annoying. right now, Meg? Who do you have? I have Nafisa Collier, mm. uh, Alicia Gray, and Jewel Lloyd. And then oh, that's a good one. John Cole Jones. Yeah, you had to go. I had to. There. Dang, that's pretty uh, good, though. That's on, tough. Just when I said earlier, I did not want to take her ever. <laughs> See, but you guys have good guards. I don't, I, oh my God, I really punted that position. What is oh, wrong? She's so hard to watch. <laughs> this is stressful. Oh my god! Wait, who did you end up? Oh, it's me. Oh shoot, Kelsey Mitchell or Marina Mabry? Marina. Oh. I think you're right. Uh, Marina's has been so up and down. Uh, Kelsey Mitchell. Okay, I'm going. I hate when it beeps down in my ear. Don't beep down the <laughs> clock. Stress me oh out. Oh my god, that was fast. Why does the second person go hella fast? They're probably okay, auto-picking. Let's, let's get a big out of the way. Um, fuck. I need another <sighs> guard. Look at these guards. Kelsey Mitchell, Courtney Williams, Jordan Canna, Ariel Atkins, Caleb I'm gonna McBride. hate this, but we're That's going here. That's gross. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? You and who? Benijah. And then Benijah. let's pick up a guard. Uh, I don't want to do her... Shoot! I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, Megan, give me, give me. Who'd you go, Courtney? Okay, Megan. Out of all uh -huh. these guards, okay, Kelsey Mitchell, Jordan Cannon, Arrow Atkins, Kayla McBride. Everyone, help me. I'm torn. For me, it's Mitchell. Or I know. I was gonna say Mitchell or McBride. I'm just gonna go Mitchell. They're all good. I mean, they're not all good. Don't try and talk me up. <laughs> that's nasty this is this is nasty i don't really like it i'm on the clock no i don't oh. like my my picks right now either i don't like this so i have marina mabry kelsey mitchell brianna stewart neca and Aaliyah boston my bigs are very good megan who do you have again uh john quill nafisa alicia gray and jewel Lloyd. and brooke you have who jackie young courtney williams asia wilson ezzy um and Benijah. Okay. 
Okay, so now we still need a utility and three bench spots. Okay, we're going to get a little sh shifty here. The hard part with Fantasy 2 is they don't update it, like, regularly. So, like, they yeah. still have Diamond Miller as out. And then, yeah. like, last year they had Sue Bird in the lineup so that you could choose. Yeah. Dude, and being the number mm -hmm. one pick kind of sucks. Like, you have to, you wait have to go back time. to back really scaredly, and you mm -hmm. don't get good. The Your best pick is the first one. Yeah. You get screwed the rest of the time yeah oh shoot megan you're on the clock again who did you pick you son of a mother <laughs> shakira and uh, uh, jordan pick. canada you suck that was gonna be my pick dang it i wanted to pick up cordoso dang it i hate you i feel like i want to go dorka here because she did really well last year, but there's just mm -hmm. Minnesota's is kind of you know what? Forget it. I like Dorka. Come on, Dorka. It was between Dorka and Diamond for me. I probably should have went Diamond because I'm uh, a little Ford heavy, but yeah. Who cares? Ooh, shoot. Honestly, like, I'm leaning towards um, Sophie Cunningham. Because she did do good when she wasn't hurt. I'm Work. not a Sophie fan, so I can't. I have no I'm gonna comment go, I gotta. I got to grab Dana. Yeah, that's that's who I would have went with. Okay. Oh, it's my turn again. Oh, shit. Yeah, girl. Okay, who did I just was going to pick up? Okay, let's just pick up Carrington, too, because they're all too interchangeable. Yeah, I would have picked one of those. I See, because go. look I now, now. now I'm in a predicament. I have to go Diamond Miller, and I just have and I have Dorka, so that's not good. I think I, didn't I think... chose Diamond last year, and I really wanted her to do good, and then she got hurt. Yeah, I gotta go Diamond. Um, I like Diamond Ceiling. I think she's gonna. I think she's gonna have a really good year. Um, you kind of killed me with the Dana Evans pick because that was gonna be my next pick. But everything's a risk, people. Everything I know. I had to snag her. Her and Carrington were going to get snagged, and I had to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're in a tough spot because you don't come back around for a while. Yeah, my last two are coming up here. Yeah. Oh, my God, Megan. How do we feel about um, Gordon Horston going into this year? <sighs> it's not. I don't think it's going to be good. I feel bad because she had a really good season last year, but Seattle's stacked now. I think she'll she'll come off the bench. Like she's not gonna not get playing time. But it's gonna be a good learning year for sure. She's gonna have so much experience around her. Megan, who would you end up play, picking? Uh Isabel Harrison and uh Sug Sutton. Oh, okay. Interesting. Really? Sug Sutton? Mm hmm They're stacked. Oh shoot, I'm about to be up. Oh no, I'm not mentally prepared for this because I don't like any of these people. Mm -mm. So here's my predicament. I don't like any of these guards, nor do I believe in any of them. Like, what? Like, right here? Oh my god, I have so many forwards on my team. It's insane. This is not good. The thing is, I don't like any guards. So once we get into these later rounds, I end up looking at their projected to what they were last uh, year and choosing from that. I know, but you know what? I can't do that. The big needs to leave. So. Okay, we're Polani Brown. I'm telling you. Okay, why are they picking so fast? What the hell? Yeah, I had to go Kalani Brown there. I have to because, okay, Sammy Whitcomb's not going to do well. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to choose her because I need I need somebody. And my Rebecca, last pick. Oh, my God. Um, Rebecca Allen? How do we feel about that? I don't I, know. I don't know how Phoenix, Phoenix Dynamic is going to be. She's a good, she'll get you, she's up and down. She's up and down, let's be for real. But she was coming off the bench for Connecticut. I'm about to just let it pick for me. Bro. It's going to huh. pick Sammy Wickham. I was going to say, it's going to pick Sammy Wickham for you. I know. All right. I don't like it. This was a this is a good warm-up because I didn't this like is, that. This is a rough draft. And then practice what you preach. Um, Satu, sorry, you're coming on my team. 
and then I'll figure out. I'll pick someone up later. Oh, my roster's full. The draft is complete. I would, I would, yeah, I would just pick up Sawtooth with my last pick if she's there for me, and then I'll just pick up someone else. Like, I'd go back and pick up an Ari McDonald or, like, a random. Oh, that's a good pick. I wanted to pick Gustafson. up. Um... Gustafson's a good pick. That's who we yeah. should have talked about. Yeah, that's if, a I, good... if I didn't get um, Sawtooth. Sawtooth is the still of the draft. Yeah, if you guys can get her, especially in the late really rounds. Yeah. That's who I wanted to snag, and they somebody took it right before I did. Yeah, because you guys can put them on your on her on your IR until she's ready. After the draft, put her on the IR. Go back to the waiver wire. Just pick up someone else that you think that you can use for the first week. Um, okay, so right, who'd you guys team end up with? Best. So I ended up with Brianna Stewart, Neka, Aaliyah, Marina Mabry, Kelsey Mitchell, Dorka, Diamond Miller, Kalani Brown, and Satu Sabli. I actually kind of like that team. I would rock with that team. All right, who'd you guys end up with? Um, so let's see. I kind of like this team. I got Jill Lloyd, Alicia Gray, Nafisa <laughs> Collier, John Quill Jones, Shakira Austin, Jordan oh Kanda, Sug Sutton, Isabel Harrison, and Megan Gustafson. Mm, that's kind of nice. All right, Brooke, who you got? Um, I have Jackie Young and Asia Wilson out of Vegas, Courtney Williams out of Minnesota this year, Ezzy out of Seattle. Um, Benajah out of New York, Dana Evans out of Chicago, Carrington out of Connecticut, Carly Samuelson out of Washington. Hopefully she plays. And then um uh, Walker Kimbrough from Washington. You know what? I think Evans Dana- and Carrington are gonna be great late round picks. See, I that's, I know, work that's out why well I was you. glad I had my back to back because I yeah. could shoot them. That's gonna be a great late round pick for anyone. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we need to do a lot more mock drafts for May 4th. So that was I highly suggest you guys try those and try yeah. them in different draft huh. spots because it's really stressful. And then yeah. um, it gives you an idea of what you want to look for. Like later in the rounds, I look at projected points, like I said earlier, and what they mm-hmm. had last year. Mm-hmm. Um, and that may be different than Shiggy and Megan and what they look for in the later rounds because mm-hmm. they're a little mm-hmm. bit more like basketball IQ than I am and like keep up with players. So I go a little bit more analytical on mm-hmm. the numbers. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, mock drafts are helpful. Like she said, do it in different positions. Draft positions are uh, set one hour before your draft. So, yeah, it's just <laughs> randomized. But I'll pop up the schedule times again. So, Megan will be at 12 p.m. May 4th. Brooke will be at 1 p.m. I'll be at 2 p.m. And then Megan will be back again at 3 p.m. Make sure to get in that draft. I think Megan should live draft because she's going to be in so many drafts. You guys Are we Megan recording doing this on our pod or So, I was thinking maybe, but then I was like, well, I don't know how I would show your guys' drafts. I can show well, my let draft. Let us know. Let us know yeah. if you want and then we'll we can yeah. kind of maybe share a screen like this or something. But... Yeah, cuz it'll be live. So, let us know if you want us to go live during our drafts. Also, remember to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, share, and we'll be back next week. Next week, people, WNBA preseason awards our predictions we were pretty accurate we last year I think. we were we were and pretty do, accurate last year do your research yeah yeah but okay thank you guys for tuning in we'll be back next week peace bye y'all